everybody and welcome to yet another super cool, super amazing and a very, very beautiful session of Curious Minds with me, Pritesh, your host, your dose and a proud educator from Mbai welcoming you to the session. And today we are talking about a very, very beautiful natural phenomena called the frost flowers, right? But before we explore this wonderful phenomena of nature and also I'll be telling you few others, you know, such phenomena which occur naturally and are so beautiful. Before that, let me tell you a little bit about this amazing page of Mbibe that gives you completely free of cost, unlimited learning experience. It also gives you interactive learning and immersive learning experience and access to test, assignment, study material, question, solution, explanation to solution, books, reference books, NCRTs and that too of any board, any grade, any subject and in any language. So make sure that you check out the MBIBE page by just going to www.mbibe.com and give learning a new face. Also guys, you can download the MBIBE app freely available on Google Store and Apple Store. So do check that out. Also guys, do not forget to connect with us on Telegram because it is one such platform where you can connect, bond with your educators, you can ask your academic doubts, you also get the PDFs of the academic sessions and whatever is happening on the Mbai Achieve CBSC Class 6 to 8 YouTube channel, you get the live updates of it on Telegram. So make sure that you scan the QR code and connect with us on Telegram. Also guys, every day from Monday to Friday, I come on Mbaib Achieves EBSC Class 6 to 8 with yet another episode of Curious Minds. So if you are enjoying these videos, make sure that you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Do share this video with your friends and school WhatsApp groups and subscribe to the channel because it's absolutely free of cost. Right? So, chaliye, let's talk about frost flowers. So what exactly are the frost flowers? First of all, let me tell you that it's a beautiful phenomenon of nature. It happens when there is extreme cold. We do not experience that in India, but in places like United States, Canada, Antarctica, it is a very, very beautiful sight that people witness. So let us explore what exactly frost flowers are, are, okay? Now, basically, frost flowers are delicate ice structures that can form on the surface of plants, typically in cold and dry winter environments. So what these frost flowers basically are, they are not flowers which are frozen. It is basically the water from the plants. It has, you know, this water from the plants has been taken out and this water has frozen. So depending on the minute cracks in the stem, minute cracks in the plants or the leaves, these, this frozen water takes a very delicate flower-like shape. So it looks like it's flower. It looks like it is so soft and furry, but it is actually ice. Okay, frost flowers are a relatively rare natural phenomena and they are often admired for their super delicate and beautiful beauty. They can also be a sign of harsh winter conditions as they require very specific, very specific environmental conditions to form. So when frost flowers have formed, which means that the temperature is really very, 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 very low. So the water inside the plant getting frozen which means that the winter is super, super, super harsh, right? So it is a rare phenomena, but if it occurs, it's beautiful to watch. Then you can see over here how beautiful it's looking like. It's looking like some vanilla ice cream. So nice, so delicate. You feel like just touching it, but if you touch it, it is going to, you know, just it is just going to shred. So you're not supposed to touch it. You're just supposed to look at it from a distance. So uh, if you touch it, it will just turn to dust. Right. So don't uh, touch a frost flood if you are, you know, if you're somebody who lives in Canada or if you have ever seen one. They are formed when the moisture in the air is drawn out of the plant and freezes on contact with cold surface. As more moisture is drawn out of the plant, the ice crystals grow into intricate and often beautiful patterns resembling delicate pe petals or feathers. So basically, what is this? This is the moisture from the plant but it has frozen on the plant surface so it looks like petals and flowers right basically it is just moisture which has frozen now because it is the moisture that is from the plants which is taken out and frozen which means that the winter is extremely harsh then size and shape of the frost flowers the shape of the frost flowers is determined by the size of the crack in the stem and type of plant wider stem cracks will lead to thicker flower petals Thinner cracks create even more delicate ice crystals that twist and curl. Just like snowflake, you know every snowflake is different. No snow, no two snowflake will look alike. 
Similarly, no two frost flowers will also look alike. As the ice ribbons form, they can join into each other to create petals and flowers and even heart shapes. So, you know what happens is that they are just ribbons of ice, very thin, 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 thin ribbons of ice. So, they just join together and they together look like a flower, you know, something like this. So, like this, this. So they are just ribbons of ice, we have which have joined together and when you look at it from the above, you feel like it is a beautiful flower, right? But it is actually ice ribbons, okay? Now, in the lake Abraham, uh, yeah, the lake Abraham in Alberta in Canada, there you will see that in winters, there is a lake, there is a lake Abraham in Alberta in Canada, this lake has bubbles frozen under it. So you can see the lake. Right, uh, I'll just use this blue color. So you'll see the lake, right? And in the lake, you'll be able to see bubbles. Okay, wait, I'll just change the color. Yeah. What are these bubbles? These bubbles, you can see it from the top. You know, like bubble, 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 like this. These are basically methane bubbles. So, this lake releases methane gas and when the temperature is so very low, the methane freezes and that is what you can see. So, if you get time, do check out the this lake, the methane bubbles frozen lake in Canada. So, you know, again, it's a natural phenomena that occurs due to the extreme cold. Canada is a country which experiences very, very harsh winters. So, that is why these phenomena occur in Canada. Okay. Now, coming back to a little bit more information about frost flowers. So, uh, sub-freezing temperature. The air temperature must be below the freezing for, for obviously for the frost flowers to form. There must be moisture present in the air either from humidity or from the plant itself in order for the frost flowers to form. The soil around the plant should be dry as this helps to draw moisture out of the plant onto its surface. The winds should be extremely calm to form the frost flowers. Otherwise, if the wind is strong, this will disrupt the ice, delicate ice structure before they have a chance to fully form. So, you know, there should, there should be no moving air. If the air is moving, they are so delicate, you know, they are like a water bubble. They are so delicate that even if, even if there is moving air, the uh, ice ribbons will just break off or they will not form only. So, that is why the wind should be extremely calm so that the ice ribbons forms one by one by one by one by one and they curl and they appear like this beautiful flower of ice. Right? But remember, don't touch it. See, if it is so delicate that it will be broken from the wind. So, imagine if you touch it, what will happen? It will just turn to a powder. Right? Or it will just, you know, go away. So, make sure that you never touch it if you are lucky enough to go, be in Canada during the harsh winters. And, you know, just take a photo and you can just, you know, post it or keep it with yourself. Apart from that, where can we find them? So, frost flowers can form in any region with the appropriate environmental conditions, including cold and dry air, sub-freezing temperature and low humidity. So, there should be moisture in the air. The uh, air should be completely calm. There should be no moving air. The temperature should be extremely, extremely low and the soil should be dry. So, if these conditions are fulfilled, then in any region, you might find the frost flowers. Examples where frost flowers are found are United States, Canada, Russia, other cold climate regions like Antarctica and other polar regions. So, you know, where the temperature is extremely low, there you will find such amazing frost flowers. Now, every day from Monday to Friday, I come at 5.30 with such amazing sessions, you know, where we talk about biology and life and, you know, philosophy and technology and automobiles and physics and chemistry and social studies and so, 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 so many different topics I bring to you. So, why, why this series Curious Minds is, why the series Curious Minds is being run? This is run so that you guys get to learn something which is beyond your textbook. 
Now, according to the latest, uh, you know, latest proposal uh, which has been drafted, uh, you know, keeping in uh, keeping in mind the NEP, that is the National Education Policy of 2020, they are saying that. Uh, 10th and 12th are going to have two board exams. Now, it is just a proposal. They are, it has not yet been approved, but they have proposed it that there will be two uh, exams for 10th and 12th. Also, there are going to be like, you know, after 10th, you can choose, there will be eight streams, not only commerce, arts or science, but there are going to be eight different streams which students can choose. And they can also like, you know, they don't have, if they want to learn maths along with music, that also they can do. So, now, even the national education policy of our country is focusing more on having knowledge rather than being somebody who just knows the NCRT. So, you know, try, try to learn more, try to keep your, uh, you know, mind open, keep your knowledge doors open and get in as much knowledge as possible. India is moving into a phase where we do not want academic geeks. We want people who are wise, we want people who are smart, we want people who have knowledge of multiple things, not only just one thing. Obviously, if you want, if you like a particular topic, suppose if there is somebody who likes genetics and they want to do a research and, you know, become a PhD scholar and further do research on genetics for the next 20 years of their life, it is very, very good. That is amazing. But then that means that you're mastering one subject, which is great. But till the time you choose till the time you decide that you want to master that one subject at least gain knowledge of multiple things so that you can choose one out of the many okay so that is why make sure that you watch the curious mind series and do not forget to share these series because there is no other channel today on youtube which is giving you so much of information along with academic knowledge right so make sure that you give this video a big fat thumbs up share it with everybody and subscribe to the channel because it's absolutely free right with that guys, we come to the end. Do check out the MBI page as well. And until we meet next, this is Pritesh, your host, your dose, and a proud educator from MBI. Signing off for now. Take care of yourself. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay blessed, stay safe, and keep MBIBing. We believe in you. Keep MBIBing. We believe in you.